Canva for real estate. In this video, I'm going to share with you three animated techniques that you can apply to your social media real estate designs that will help you promote your listings in a creative and unique fashion across all social media platforms. Hi friends, it's Larissa aka La to the A E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you are new here. This is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters like you level up your content creation, marketing, and branding game. So if that sounds like your vibe, then please hit subscribe. All right. So here we are at the Canva dashboard. And of course you can create all of your designs from scratch. But the wonderful thing about this platform is that there are already a bazillion templates ready to go for you, especially if you are a real estate agent. So I'm just going to search for real estate here and let's see what pops up. Now we have a bunch of templates that you can work around with and play with. So Instagram feed, you know, IG stories, and you can also filter right here. If you click here, all filters, you can filter by the different platforms if you would like. Now, in this case, I already have my designs made and ready to go. And if you want to learn how to create these exact designs, I do have a previous tutorial on my YouTube channel that I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below. But if you also want to save some time, I do sell these templates on my Etsy shop. So if you would like to purchase them and support my work, I would be very appreciative of that as well. So let's get into how we can make these designs less boring, if you will. So the first technique I'm going to show you is pretty easy, actually. All of these things that I'm going to show you can be applied to any of the templates that you've seen previously on the other tab there. Um, but you can do this to any of your designs. It just makes them, like I said, more interesting. So if we click on the canvas here, we can see that we have this fun animation here. Uh, typically, if you don't have an anim animation already selected, it's just going to say animated or animation or animate. But we're going to click on that and it's going to open up a window of page animations that we can apply to our design here on this canvas. OK, so typically what you can do is do a full page animation and Canva has a bunch of different combinations of animations already for you. That's going to animate your text, animate the elements on the page, the picture and whatnot. Now, personally, I like to use corporate because I think that looks really sleek and really simple. but very professional. There's also another one down here that I like, which is the scrapped book. And right now what I'm doing is just hovering my mouse over the effect here and it's showing me a preview of what that looks like. But let's say we like this scrapbook look, we can just select it and we can choose either both on enter or on exit. So basically what it's showing you, what that means is if you, if you select both, it's going to show you an animation from the beginning and then after it's going to animate out. So if I select both, we can select here the page timing of this. So let's say we're going to do 10 seconds, hit enter. And if we play it back here, we see this button up here, we can actually play back the design here. And if we give it a second where it goes to the 10 seconds, it will animate out like that. So that's completely up to preference. I just usually like to do the on enter. So you just see that immediately. And then that way people who are viewing this can read what is on your page. So you can also choose up to 15, 30 seconds. So because we are posting this on Instagram as a feed post, I wouldn't go more than 30 seconds. Okay. Right. So the next effect is pretty much in this same family as well. I'm just going to duplicate this page here and I'm going to remove the animation from the second page here. So instead of animating everything on the page for you, what you can do is animate individual elements on the page itself. So let's say we want to animate this photo here, which is in a frame. I'm going to click on this element. I'm going to go up to the animate here and we can select which kind of animation we want for this picture here. Now, I usually like something like rise or baseline, um, which is really sleek and really simple. We're just going to go with that. I'm just going to choose on enter. You can also change the speed as to which this is coming up and you can change the direction coming down, going up. This is all completely up to preference here. Now we've animated this photo. Let's go ahead and animate this just listed text up here. So we're going to click on that. It's already opened up our panel here. And again, if you hover over them, you'll see previews of that animation. Now there are some new animations in here that Canva has recently introduced. And here we have this one, which is the flicker one, which I like, or you have the pulse one, which is doing that flashing in and out. So 
Again, you can choose the intensity of the that pulse effect there. I believe it's just doing the speed of the intensity, you know, like a heartbeat, you know? So we're just gonna go with that. Um, and that's pretty much it for our second animation here. So this is on page two. We're gonna have to just scoot over here and then we'll see our animation for this page as well. Again, I recommend anything between 10 to 30 seconds for the duration of this page here. And when you are happy with these designs here with your animations, all you have to do is go ahead and download this as an MP4 video file. Now with this, you have to download each page individually because if you don't, Canva thinks it's just one project and it's gonna combine everything together. So you want to download this individually one at a time and just hit the done button here and you should be set to go. And before I forget, these are also frames on each of these designs here. So if I click out of this, so I click this page and I delete the picture, you can actually insert a video into this. So this is a frame where you can add in photos or videos. So let's go in and find a video here. Of course, you would want to upload your own video of that property there. Just a little quick highlight piece of the property would be nice and then all you have to do is just click and drag into here and then it's going to insert the video for you and if i just give this a playback we can see that we have an animation as, along with the video here so let me just go a little bit you see that you have a video that pops up and then you have your just listed as well and there you go so those are three different designs within that one animation effect that you can do up with whether that be a full page animation or just animating select pieces on the canvas there. Now let's move on to the next animation effect that I have for you. In this case, I'm just going to duplicate this first page down here and I'm just gonna move it down. Oop, too far. Where are you? <laughs> Third page. Okay, so I'm going to just remove the animation from this page um, as well. So I'm just gonna remove all animations and in this case what we're going to be doing is creating an animated banner effect okay so there's actually two methods to this which I'm going to share with you because one of the effects is easy to do but it does have a bit of a caveat so I'm just going to duplicate this page again so let's say now this property is just sold so what we can do is go in grab a piece of text box there and we are just going to write in just sold a bunch of times And now what I'm doing is extending this. So trust me on this, okay? Maybe I put too many, too many just solds in here. So we're gonna do something like that. Now we're gonna go up into effects here. I'm gonna go to the background and I'm gonna make this red so it's very contrasting. And then I am just going to reduce the roundness and the spread just a little bit. And let's go ahead and make the text white so it has a nice contrasting uh, effect there. And essentially what I'm gonna do is angle this so that I can put a banner up here. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so I can get this more precisely in here. So that looks pretty sufficient to me. And so what I'm gonna do is just make sure it's centered like that. And then I'm going to hold the Alt key on my keyboard and click and drag to duplicate. I'm gonna put one down here. So I'm just gonna make sure it lines up properly and I'm going to push this behind my head. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is add in the effects, okay? So we're gonna click on either or, click on this one. Let's go up into the animate tab here and we're on text animations. And for this one, we need to use the drift effect here. I'll click that and we can change the intensity, more so the speed of this. And we're gonna do it in this direction here, going to the right. And then for this banner down here, we're gonna click the drift effect and we're also going to adjust the speed, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Do you see how it's moving like that? So with this specific page effect, the effect really only lasts for five seconds. Um, after that, it will drift off the page and then it will kind of go back, which is not really what I like. So if you're want, if you going to do this effect, just keep your page to five seconds. But if you want it longer, I'll show you another effect here. So let me give this a quick playback so you see what I'm talking about. So let's go over here. There we go. So we can see that it's drifting, it's drifting. 
and then you'll kind of notice that it'll go back after the five seconds. So this is completely up to preference of what you want to do. But for this effect with the drift text, just do your five seconds. So I'm just going to change this to five seconds. Now, if you want something that is continuously rolling, this is what we can do. So I'm just going to copy this here and paste it onto this page. And instead of it being uh, on an angle from top to bottom, I'm just going to create one text here and I'm just going to put it across the middle here, change the change it back so it's straight. And this is what we can do. So we can make this a little bit bigger if we would like. Just going to center it. And now what we're going to do is animate this. So again, make sure you're selected on the text box. We're going to go up to this button here, which should say animate. And then here you'll notice a create an animation. So this is a new feature of Canva. And basically what this will allow us to do is to animate elements on our page by clicking and dragging that element on the page and forming that pathway. So let's go ahead and click that. And essentially it's going to show you the directions, but typically in this case, what we want to do is just a straight seamless animation across the page. So we want to animate this text here. So what I'm going to do, typically what we should have done first was click out of this. Um, we need to make sure that this is kind of at the end here. And so I'm holding my shift key while, while I was clicking and dragging. So it's perfectly straight and not all over the place. So let's go ahead and select this select the animate to go back to create an animation. And now what we can do is I recommend you to hold the shift key, click, and you should be able to drag just across the page like that. And that was okay. We can do better than that. I'm going to delete the path and we're going to do this again. So hold my shift key so that we can animate just straight across. So it doesn't move and Let's just keep it like that. Now that's kind of choppy, but what we can do is choose different uh, movement styles. So we can do steady where it's just nice and steady. Again, we can change the, the intensity of the speed. We can do that. You can do smooth, which is really not the best one, but I like steady and I change the speed of that as well. And I believe you can add some motion effects to this. So this is also really cool. The flicker is really nice to add in there. Pulse, not really. The wiggle, no, we don't want that. Um, rotate, we do not want that. Flicker, we can add the flicker if you want. If not, it can just stay as it is, but I think I'm gonna add that flicker in there just so it adds a bit more of dimension and contrasting. So we're gonna stick with that. And you know what, that is it for that second animation technique. So completely up to you whether you want to do it this style with drift text or you want to animate your own sold banner like that. So let's go ahead and give this a play because I think that looked really cool. So here we have the first one, our drift one, that was five seconds. And then if we go to our next page here, we have our just sold banner with that flickering text and this is going to be 10 seconds as well. All right. So that is technique number three, number two, let's move on to technique number three. So I'm going to be using this design here. And essentially what we're going to be doing is creating our own flashing text as well. So for this one, I am going to add an extra page here because we need to do some uh, color picking, if you will. So I'm going to just grab a circle here, grab another one. Because what we need to do is to make sure that we pick contrasting colors within our brand kit. So I'm just going to go back into here. I'm going to choose yellow for this one. And then I need to make sure that I copy the hex code of this yellow. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to make this into the same green color that I have for this here. And I'm going to make sure I copy that hex code because trust me, we will need this in a few seconds. Okay. Now that you have your colors, two contrasting colors, we are going to delete this here because we're not going to have room. And what we're going to do is go to the apps section. Now we're searching for a app here called type form or type craft, sorry. Typecraft, and this is going to allow us to basically uh, 
morph or transform our text. Now we are a bit limited in terms of the font, but we're going to work with it anyway. So in this case, I'm going to say just listed. And I'm going to find a pretty bold text here. I think I used something like impact. Yeah, we're going to go with that. And then did I put a space in between these? Just listed. Yes, I did. So I put a space in between the text here. And then what we can do is just go in and just create our own text effect here. So you can drag whatever point you want to. Maybe I might drag this, this point down a little bit and do something like that. And then what I'm going to do is, again, you can also choose uh, different outlines, things like that, but I'm just gonna do none. But I'm just gonna change the color. And again, we need that hex code because we, we don't have a color picker, the color drop tool. So I'm just gonna select this yellow color here. I'm gonna paste in that hex code. I'm just gonna click out of here. I'm going to add uh, the design to this page here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna size it up and then we're just gonna stylize it a little bit more so it looks, it looks good. So we're gonna do that. And then what I'm gonna go in and do is just grab some lines L on your keyboard for lines and I'm just going to make this line a little bit thicker like this so this is completely optional to add this in or not but I just wanted to add that in so it looks like there's some substance there so it doesn't look like it is hollow I don't know that's just me so I'm just gonna put these lines to the back okay and then what I'm going to do is just click and drag with my mouse Command or Control G to group. And so there we have that first text here. And now what I'm going to do is just duplicate this. And now we're gonna change the color. So select this again. Go in and grab your other color here. Select that. Paste your hex code. And hit update element on the bottom there. And now I'm just gonna go in and change out this where am i change it to match that color and i'm just going to copy style over there so now we just click and drag so now we have a yellow and a green now here is what we have to do so with this because we're making it flashing we need to change the the duration of this page so instead of five seconds it's going to be 0.5 seconds okay and then we're gonna do this 0.5 seconds now in this case we are going to be downloading these two pages together as a gif so it's gonna be playing one after the other on a continuous loop so let's go ahead go to download we're gonna change our file type to gif and then we're going to select just those two pages here I believe five and six we're gonna hit done download and we're going to open this up on my computer real quick all right so it's downloaded to my desktop and i have it opened on this tab here and you can see it's flashing the green and yellow just listed so you can do whatever text you want to do here just sold as well or coming soon again choose contrasting colors so it's like the flashing off and on kind of look so that's the third technique for the animations effect here so if you try any of these out please tag me on instagram and let me know if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you are interested in learning how to use youtube for real estate agents and you want to leverage youtube in your business and you want to know what the top five videos are that are proven to get clients and you want to learn how to design those thumbnails then i recommend you check out this video right over here and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one